three, two, one, dump. All right, so I have this idea, and it's really crazy, and it's really big, and there's one guy that I know that likes to go really big. And his name is David Dobrik. So today, David and I are going to attempt to break the world record for the largest elephant toothpaste experiment ever. I have literally done this reaction hundreds of times. I've done this for Fox and Friends, The Today Show, countless live shows, and even America's Got Talent. And I've even done videos dedicated to finding the perfect formula for what I call the foam fountain of science, which is actually the same thing, it's elephant's toothpaste. So I know exactly how to get the maximum height out of an Erlenmeyer flask, but what I don't know is the perfect formula for getting the maximum amount of volume. So the first step in this whole process is doing a bunch of testing to figure out what is the exact formula to give us the maximum amount of foam volume. Smells clean. It cleans the things that it's working on. It cleans your gloves. It's the cleanest experiment we've ever done. In 2018, Science Bob went on Ryan and Kelly and used 40 liters of 35% hydrogen peroxide and a catalyst, which resulted in 13 and a half cubic meters of foam, which is a lot. Recently, Mark Rober and Science Bob paired up on a video and they were attempting to quadruple the volume that Science Bob set in 2018. Since Science Bob used 40 liters in his 2018 attempt, and Mark and Science Bob together quadrupled that record, that would have put them roughly around 160 liters of hydrogen peroxide or the equivalent. Well, today, we're gonna be using 208 liters of hydrogen peroxide. So roughly five times the record that was set in 2018. Now the rules for the Guinness World Record states that the foam has to be continuous, which is kind of ambiguous if it means that all of the foam has to come from one vessel or it could be multiple vessels. Like, what if we had a bunch of containers out there holding hydrogen peroxide, we put the catalyst in, and then we created one giant blob of foam. Does that then count, or does it have to come from one particular source? Either way, it doesn't matter because we're gonna be using my own personal hyperbaric chamber. Because as a good scientist, I have a hyperbaric chamber. I got this from the guys at the Discovery Show Tanked. Ended up hanging onto it because we ended up using it for a bunch of different science experiments. And the one thing that I'm the most concerned about is pouring all the catalyst in at the same time because the reaction doesn't work unless all the catalyst is reacting with all of the hydrogen peroxide. And so the more people that you add to this, the more chances you have for failure, meaning if someone gets scared and they don't dump all of the catalyst into the hyperbaric chamber holding the hydrogen peroxide all at the same time, that could be a big issue because then that would totally reduce the amount of foam that we get. Uh, and knowing the vlog squad, this is gonna be our biggest challenge. Next step is we're gonna add all the hydrogen peroxide and then we're going to mix the potassium iodide. We'll get geared up and then we'll be ready to rock. All right, so we're gonna put a total of nine and a half uh, bottles of palm olive pure clean dish soap in the mixture. to make the catalyst. Two to one, meaning one of these, two waters. I'm gonna put that all in here. I'm 
I'm gonna need the three fastest, tallest. Um. <laughs> Four people are gonna put in two and a half gallons each, and we're all gonna have to go at the exact same time. If it is successful, then it's yeah. the largest it's elephant nice. toothpaste experiment oh, ever guys, done. Oh, guys, we can break a no, record. Where's Matt? We'll do it. Todd will do it. Heath and Zane. Can I tell you who I trust more though? Heath. Heath. I know. I know. They <laughs> <laughs> would be like this. Right, practice so before the world record in three, two, one, dump. Yeah. Whoa, Matt. Wow, Matt, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> hey, you you want to blow up three? everybody? Three, two, one, dump. Hey, this better be good. Out. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> Do not spill that, Matt. Yeah, if you spill that, then the whole reaction is toast. Okay. Uh, Whoa! There we go, guys. World record experiment. This is the real one. Here we go. In three, two, one, dump! It smells really good. It smells so good. Oh, it's really hot. Yeah, I bet. Okay, so it's really big. That's an insane amount. <laughs> when we put in the potassium iodide, which is our catalyst, it gets into the hydrogen peroxide soap mixture and it strips out one of the oxygens on the hydrogen peroxide. That oxygen then gets caught in the soap and creates a ton of foam very, very quickly. Oh wow, it's really it's quiet in here. This looks so weird from in here. Really hot oh, though. Oh, oh, yeah, it's oh, gonna, oh, oh, it's like, oh, it's so hot, it's burning. Ow. Yeah, oh, it's really hot. Like, I may never be an action movie star, but like, after experiencing this, I could be. Today, you were. <laughs> today, today I was. I felt like we were running away from the big bullman in Indiana Jones, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, one of the craziest things about this is that it fully reacted, meaning there is nothing left in the hyperbaric chamber, which is pretty insane. All right, there we go. That was a record attempt for the largest foam fountain of science ever. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. And now, it's time for cleanup.